Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. The new Amazon Fulfillment Center in Turlock is looking to fill close to 1,000 jobs. They are taking applications tomorrow at the new warehouse on Fulcourt Road from 9 to 5. One person was killed this morning in a shooting at Cheers Sports Bar in Natomas. It happened just before one this morning after a fight broke out inside. One man is dead after a shooting last night on McFarland Street in Galt. Three more people are in the hospital and detectives are hoping to get more information from them. Police believe it stemmed from a days-long dispute between two groups. Stocks tumbled with the Dow falling more than 1,250 points. Wall Street's worst day in more than two years. It's all because inflation slowed less than many economists had predicted, with Tuesday's inflation report showing prices are up 8.3 percent compared to one year ago. Business and government officials are bracing for the possibility of a nationwide rail strike at the end of this week as talks continue between the largest U.S. freight railroads and their unions. The railroads have already started to curtail shipments of hazardous materials and refrigerated products just in case. Ukrainian troops continue to pressure retreating Russian forces. Today, they took a town just two miles from the Russian border, which was taken on the first day of the invasion. High temperatures and rain combined to impact a glacier in Chile. It happened September 9th and was caught on camera. Experts blame climate change with the region facing abnormally high temperatures. Ken Starr, the man whose criminal investigation of Bill Clinton led to his impeachment, has died at age 76. In 2020, Starr was recruited to help represent Donald Trump in the nation's third presidential impeachment trial. A man who may have been keeping a wild kangaroo as a pet was killed by the animal in southwest Australia. It was reportedly the first fatal attack by a kangaroo in Australia since 1936. The victim was a 77-year-old man. Scouts for the NCAA Women's Final Four are in Sacramento. They are touring the capital city as a finalist to potentially host the Women's Final Four between 2027 and 2031. Previously, Golden One Center has hosted the first two rounds of the men's tournament. And those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.